Today is a day in the life of driving a 2023 911 992 GT3 by a 21 year old. I know I look like a fool right now because I'm dressed like a fool. We about to do, me and the FaZe boys, for anyone who doesn't know, that's my group of friends. We about to do a two hour drive to Palm Springs. We're taking a two day vacation. So I might as well take my car, uh, show the driving experience, show what it's like. Maybe, you know, just show you what it's like to live a day in my shoes with this car. This car is honestly my favorite car I've ever bought. Um, I've had an RSQ8, I've had a Tesla Model X. I've driven a lot of supercars and honestly, this car is literally perfection to the... We'll pick up in a second and I'll show you all the car and we'll, we'll do a day in the life. I'm about to leave right now to Palm Springs. This is the car though that we take in. Obviously it's the GT3. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is beautiful, man. To be 21 and have this is just an absolute blessing. Yellow brake caliber. This thing's got a pull. I don't even know if y'all can hear that. That shit's not even on sport mode or track. So it's not even that loud, but it's loud. First thing we gotta do is I gotta get gas for this thing. This is a two hour car drive, like a hundred something miles. It's just a 38 miles on it. So I gotta get gas on it. But it's honestly surprising because 38 miles for this car, I drive this shit with the the paddle shifters and everything. And we put it in manual mode. I know it's not a full manual. I put this shit in manual mode, like to the left. And I kid you not, this thing does not burn gas. Who's in the car with you? Just me, I'm leaving. Oh, you're the goat. By yourself? Yeah. You're a sicko. <laughs> that was Banks. That was random as We're about to all meet there anyway. But yeah, we're gonna fill the car. But what I was saying was I drive this car like crazy. Always in sport mode if you change it right here. Basically that says drive mode on it right here. I'm gonna switch the drive mode to sport and it obviously opens up the exhaust. Yeah, it's a little bit faster, a little bit better. One thing that's Gotified is the lift right here. If you press this right here, we're lifted. I don't even gotta worry about like hills like this. It's perfect, bro. That's what makes this honestly an everyday car. Like in my opinion, like one of the best cars ever because this thing is a literal track car that you can daily drive basically i mean i daily drive it this thing's got about 10,700 miles i'll show in a second i daily drive this basically i bought this car when i had like 4,000 miles on it it was used um but i put on like 7,000 miles in a year which is not bad because a lot of people don't even drive their sports cars so hey you can't even get mad at me I, I drive it the way it's meant to be driven i think the one cool thing about owning this car is the fact uh you know, I'm so young, and obviously there's people that look at me and they think, oh, like this kid's obnoxious, blah, 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 or oh, this kid, this is his daddy's money, whatever it is. The one thing about buying the Porsche compared to buying like a Lamborghini, in my opinion, at my age at least, is I kind of get respect for it. I've been so many places where I feel like I get a lot more respect and they view me as someone, I don't know, just respectable. And obviously that's not the main reason I bought this car, but I did know that if I bought a Lamborghini, um, I definitely would have gotten looked at like a little spoiled kid. Even though I do look like a little piece of shit. And I also think it fits me. I feel like a Lamborghini and Ferrari. Uh oh, look at that. I just got that. It's a radar. I don't even know if I can show that. So right now I'm about to lift the car because I'm going to go into the gas station. And this thing lifts up like five feet. Like actually, bro, this thing is so, this thing goes up so fast. I mean, look at this shit. I still go on an angle, obviously, just in case. But I mean, that was like no problem. It's on the right side. It's so weird. It's on the mirror. That's where it is. It's not, it's not on the back. It's weird. Take a guess how much this is going to cost. God damn, this thing looks so good. What am I pumped to? My guess is this shit's going to be 110. I'm going to tell them to fill 100. This car takes 91, 93 premium. Coming out of this car is just, it never gets old bro i don't know if i should switch the color let me know what you guys think i don't know if i should if i should switch it or not um i look like a crazy dude next to this guy but i was kind of thinking of changing it to like a purple like an amethyst type of purple like the factory purple but i don't know if that's what i should do because at night this thing looks stealth as shit but like look how dirty it gets that's the ppf shit for the rocks but like you see this shit this shit this shit really gets filthy let's see how much we're out already so we're already at $32, and it's not even halfway done. It's not even one-fourth done, honestly. So we're going to see. Uh, tell me what you guys also want more content of. Do you want more of the GT3? Do you want more of the BMW? Actually, the BMW is getting sold. I don't know if y'all are going to see this the time this goes up, but I'm selling the BMW. 
Um, I'm gonna make a video on that soon. There's a reason why I need a daily car and I'm stupid as, as I don't know why it was smart of me to get a 2025 BMW M4 with an Adro kit and then put 800 horsepower in it when I literally need a daily car. So I can't daily that, which is stupid. But yeah, I was obnoxious, I was stupid, and I'm an idiot, and I'm sorry. You guys can call me a loser who wasted his money. You guys were right. It's gonna be like a two hour drive, like I said. I'm gonna try to drive a little faster, obviously legally. Um, I do have a radar though, so it should be a little bit fun. And yeah, we're gonna see. Damn, is that a Lotus? See, I also like that color. It's like a blue. I don't know if it's like a Miami blue, but I, I like blue too, but I just don't know if it's it's worth it. I know the shark color or whatever for the Porsche is really nice, but I don't know if I'd get sick of it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think I should do for the color. This shit is already at $94. I don't even think it's close to being done. It's so weird holding a camera. I've never done this before, like in public like this, besides my IRL shoes, but this camera is heavy as fuck. Damn, so it's more than 120. This shit just stopped. This automatically stops at 120 because I told them to fill only 120. I thought that'd be enough. 120 and it doesn't even fill the tank. Bro, it says 400 miles filled up and that's based on how I drive. It says, it says 393. It's basically a full tank. It probably would have filled up like 20 more miles it looks like. This car, I will drive this car in sport mode and paddle shift mode. I kid you not, I could last a month with this tank. The BMW, that shit lasted me a hour. Maybe it's because it's on E92 or whatever the f E93, whatever the f it is. I don't even remember. I've had it for f like a week and I got rid of it. But bro, even before that, when it was on premium gas, like that shit f sucked. But yeah, we're going to see you on the road. This car is amazing. Put this bitch in sport mode right here. Put it in manual. Down shift a couple times. discredit it um it's not extremely hard but it's not extremely easy and it also takes work that's what a lot of people don't get a lot of people think that this just happens it, it didn't i was doing nothing for five years making no money doing this and then i finally hit on it and then i started to make money and then when i started to make money i literally lost it all basically in a year and i decided to get up and get back to it type of thing um for those who know my story, you know my story type of thing, but yeah, I don't gotta explain it. I really do love this car, and I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of it, and I know I say that, but like, the only thing that I think of when I think of getting rid of this is upgrading it to like a 992 GT3 RS, GT3 RS for now, but yeah, I, I really, bro, I'm in love with this car. I literally, I mean, bro, I'm like one arm dailing this shit like it's nothing. I see a tunnel coming up, but put this bitch in track mode. So you can really, actually I'll put this, I'm gonna put it in manual mode, but you could really hear how loud this is, hopefully. I'm gonna drive this in first gear for a second. Oy. I know it's gonna stutter, hold on. Just listen, listen to this. Small tunnel, even on a corner. made it here and the car has 241 miles left which isn't bad that means i lost 100 miles on 100 miles um let's see how the car looks my prediction is this thing's filthy and i was right this shit is dirty damn look at my exhaust 
the shit blue, but look at this shit. This shit is filthy. I mean, I expected it. God damn. This shit, that's what it's like to drive 114 miles. I was going like, obviously we're in Mexico. I was going like 120, 140, even 170. This is the, this is the first time I've ever driven my car like this. And let me tell you, this is just such a fire car, bro. I'm gonna get more footage probably later tonight, but I mean, yeah, that's kind of like the day in the life of just driving and nothing crazy. Might get food later with the guys. Look at this resort we're at though, for two days. This is insane. How does a house have a lazy river? How deep is this, you think? They got a golf course here too. Basketball court over there. Yeah, damn, this shit goes for miles. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? I know this is a day in the life of the Porsche owner, GT3, whatever the but like, bro, this kind of comes with it. Like, do you see this shit? Bro, there's whole ass arcades here. Like, bro, I don't even know where I'm at for real. This is actually insane. Like, this is mind blowing. I mean, this is like a real place. Bro, just look at this car. This is literally the Batmobile, bro. Like, this literally, like, I don't know, bro. This car is just so sleek. Like, it's just so perfect, bro. I don't know how to describe it. It's just with the brakes too like that's one thing i don't know if i want to do yet like if i even want i don't even know if y'all can see me it's so dark out i don't know if i should even change the color of this car bro like at nighttime this thing is just the batmobile and then bro my favorite thing about this car my favorite thing the light bro this shit looks like tron shit bro like i swear when i say this any car i've ever driven I, this has like one of the nicest i don't know what the right word is but this has like the nicest ass on any car for this price range in my opinion like a 720s this is way nicer huracans anything bro like, like bro i don't know I, I this this thing just looks so sleek to me let me know if i should change the color there's not much i could do left why don't you vlog i do bro i got a vlog channel have it uploaded on it in three months but yeah it's coming don't worry why don't you vlog i don't know what the, i don't have a camera i can't get a gx G, gx7x those are your natural eyes yeah no, I have contacts in. What is it? Wait, what's your parents' eyes? My dad has No one cares, green. retard. My, my mom's dead. You know what, Ron? Come here, I have to show you something. Come here. Come here. <laughs> What's wrong? Why did you just bring me in your room? No rice today, huh? Nope. We making pasta, or Tom's making pasta. <laughs> Well, well, well. Your rage and Max on the basketball court. Who could have guessed? Hi, Rage. Hey, Kitty Pie. Rage, when's your next car? What car should I get? Hey, yo. I wanted a black wing, and then two motherfuckers got a black wing. Wait, what cars do you have now? I don't got that many cars. I only got. Okay, a, what is that many cars? I got a, a Civic. I got a M8. I got a Hellcat Durango. I got a Cybertruck. Wait, isn't the Cybertruck that you got recalled? Nah. What's your next one? Are you gonna wait? Are you gonna join the Lambo Bros group chat? <laughs> I'm weird. I'm the type of nigga that wants cars that everybody don't got. I feel like everybody got a Urus now. So what do you want? I don't know. I gotta think on that. Like if you had f you, like f you money. I know. I want like, like, a, I wanted like a Aston Martin. Oh. Aston Martin fake tough. What streamer got an Aston Martin? It's a great question. You have a fake BMW X6 M comp. Right. So it have doesn't have even have money. any. It don't got any. I don't like you don't give a f about no cars, nigga. I get buckets, nigga. You see the ball back three in a row. About no cars? Come on, bro. Yeah, let's see it. I love my FaZe boys, bro. Oh, God. this is See, like, this is the FaZe clan off off stream. You know what I'm saying? We still all boys and shit. What? What the f***? Should we touch him inappropriately? Look. Whenever you see Silky with Uncrustables, you know he just drank a double cup. Are you going to ever change your car? Change it? No, you, have, you just put the Adro kit on it. But are you gonna ever get like a supercar like this? Yeah, I'm getting a Corvette. That's not a. I don't think that's a supercar. I'm kidding. What's like your dream though? My dream. Do you car? still want the Urus? It used to be a Urus, but that was before I got like shit done to my Beamer and started driving fast. Oh. Now I low key want my dream car would probably be either a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Okay, well what Ferrari? Lamborghini? I don't really know. Okay. I don't know enough about cars yet to make that decision. But Agent's new SF90 is tough. What if what if you spent half a million dollars on a car, though, and then you got into a car accident and totaled it completely the next day? That's why I always say I'll never get insurance if I get a supercar. That is my belief. If you get a supercar, it is dumb to get insurance. So you're telling me, so you're going to drive illegally. I'm pretty sure you can't drive with insurance. Wait, it's illegal to do that? I think so. Oh, never mind. I'll be getting insurance then. Only thing is, I feel like people who have supercars, like if I have a car, I want to drive it every day. I drive this every day, though. 
But like, there's times where I'll see this like in the garage for like three, four days at a time, where you don't drive it. Well, that's because I don't leave the house. But like, bro, I, I've I have a lot of miles on this. I've I probably put like eight thousand miles on in like less than a year. And this is like a supercar, or I would say it's a supercar. But like, I feel like a Porsche you could daily drive. Like a Lamborghini, you can't. Like this, yeah, this raises. Was when I was living in Dallas with Clicks, and he had his Lamborghini, he took it out once a week. Well, that thing was like, bro, that thing is so much lower and i feel like it's more obnoxious to drive like this like i could still drive it casually and it's like not crazy hard to drive that makes sense you would never get a porsche who the fuck oh naz only on my pole i just don't like the looks of porsches what you don't like the look of this no really actually no it's just i think it's just because it's too compact it's too small i don't know how to explain damn it. you don't fuck with this no i think this is nice but i personally i don't like the look of a of so you'd rather let's say like you'd rather have a lamborghini like her than this yeah just my personal preference of like the look of, mm. the type of look i like in a car i like this shit more i'm not gonna lie this but shit I know this shit's also like speaks volume i don't know like i get mad <laughs> respect having this i swear like people like when they see me they're like they because you like i feel like a lamborghini you're like a brat especially our age like True. it'd be like daddy's money or some shit i've never been into cars and i'm not still not into cars but now that i'm a little more into it i don't i like the look of something more i just don't like the look of porsches is that anna i'm about to clean my car shit dirty as I don't know if you can see, but this is what it looks like driving at 200 miles. Not, yeah, 200 miles, 100 miles one way, 100 miles another way. The camera don't even really be picking it up. This shit, this shit filthy. What the f This shit filthy as a Look at this shit. This shit just dirty. But this the before. We're going to see the after. Look at this shit. You can't even see it on camera. I don't Interior got a little bit of shit. It's got to be the best looking car. Look at that bad boy. That's about to be sold. Car's clean. This is what it looks like after. Looks a lot better. Before it was filthy. But look at this shit. This shit. This shit brand new again. Interior. Let's go. We about to go to a gas station real quick. But this shit look extravagant again. Look at this. I didn't even know you did the back. God damn. I don't know yet if I'm gonna get rid of it or not. We gonna see. I always get rid of all my cars and then I regret it weeks later. I know I said so much in this video, man, but beyond blessed to be owning this at my age. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video, man.